Hello everyone, it's Mila here and today we are finally doing some speed building. But before we jump into that, let's go and check our campsite visitor because we had one today and it is Kit Kat. So no luck on the campsite today, but anyways, that's not the main point of this video because today we are finally, finally doing some more building and decorating. So in today's video, we are going to be focusing on the area around my house and I'm planning to turn my house into a hotel or like a small or bed and breakfast or something like that because I think it suits this tropical resort idea quite well. And yeah, today's build is really nothing too crazy, I would say. We are mainly focusing on landscaping and waterscaping and terraforming in this build. I don't know, for some reason I thought I had a bit more decorating ideas for this build but I think it ended up being quite simple like decorating wise and I was more focused on the waterscaping which to be honest is going to be like my main focus on this tropical island because I know I want to make like a lot of water elements around around the island and you will also see it in today's build as well. Right now I'm placing down a path but it was a bit of a waste of time because I ended up putting one more pond in front of the house because as you can see in the beginning of the video I kind of moved the cliff back one more grid because for some reason I was thinking I didn't have enough space in front of the house but while I was placing down this path, I realized that I had so much space in front of the house. So I ended up actually waterscaping a little bit more over here that you will see it in a second here. But yeah, what a waste of time this path was because I ended up having to redo the whole thing. Yeah, I think today's build is gonna be quite chill. Like we're not gonna do anything too crazy here today, but I just wanted to share some tropical island designing progress with you guys. And yeah, I hope you like today's build. But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing great today. It is actually like 5 a.m. in the morning right now while I'm doing this voiceover and I'm just ready to go to work. And to those of you who are thinking this is really, really early, for me, it is actually kind of a nice timing because I've been working so many night shifts this month and it has been uh, crazy. So today I'm going to work around seven o'clock. So I'm super, super happy. <laughs> I don't have to work the whole night. What a win. But yeah, not the point here. I hope you guys are enjoying the build. Um, I guess I caught quite a lot of the decorating out of the video but it was just very similar to the stuff that I do anyways so I'm just showing you the main idea and then obviously in the end of the video we will be touring this build a bit more I think the thing that threw me off with this build was that like nothing behind or next to the build was ready so it looked really out of place to me so I did a bit building off camera so I was like decorating around the cliffs and at first I was also thinking to cut the whole terraforming part on the left side of the build out of this video but I did include it a little bit because I think because there is nothing next to the build like on the left side it really looked super strange so I did actually come back to this build the next day and I did a little bit of waterfalls and stuff like that on the left side of the house so it would look a bit more finished. Like that's my thing with this island, like because everything else is so empty and nothing is ready, all these builds always take like a lot of time because they just look really silly if they don't have like any landscaping behind them. Does that make any sense? I don't know. My 5 a.m. brain is really like not here for a voiceover so i hope this voiceover makes some sense if it doesn't just just comment some koala emojis anyways i'm gonna finish whatever i'm doing here and i'm gonna add the pond to the build and also fix the path and then we're gonna come back when it is the next day because there were some happenings around the island and we're gonna kind of finish this build and then we're gonna tour it together
Okay, so we have moved on to the next day and as I already mentioned at first I was thinking to just leave this build be but I don't know the left side looked really really empty so I wanted to add some waterfalls over here I didn't really finish it exactly I might come back and change it I think I say that about all my builds even this one I think I might add some stuff to it as we go and when I get like a bit more ideas of what I want to do here actually looking back to this like I can see most of this build was was just me running around aimlessly and trying to come up with some good ideas but uh yeah i already have some ideas that i want to modify looking back at this build but anyways not the point here so we're just gonna add a bridge here it's kind of similar to what i actually have over on my other island <laughs> i feel like i'm just recreating my northern hemisphere island but in a like a tropical version i was thinking i didn't really like this build that much but i think it turned out quite well and also in this last clip of the video we're gonna be also celebrating Fuja's birthday because yeah I am in um, September on my tropical island since it is kind of the snow times over on the southern hemispheres and I don't know the tropical island do is it doesn't really have the same vibe when it's like snowing so yay fuchsia's birthday and i wanted to celebrate it because i'm sure that if i would play like in real time i would just forget about it so yeah we're gonna hop on to the next day in game and go and celebrate fuchsia's birthday which is really really cute it has actually been some time since we've celebrated a villager birthday over here on my southern hemisphere island. I think, who was it last time? Maybe June? No, it must have been someone else. Anyways, also my outfit. How cute is that? I forgot to mention it. So I kind of like accidentally chose this outfit. Obviously, I wanted to gift Fuja the same outfit that I was wearing. And I don't know. I think this outfit, like the same dress that June is wearing with the tulip hat looks so cute. I think I might even keep it for a while. I really, really like it. I think it's very tropical, but also kind of quirky, kind of cute. I don't know. The tulip hat is so cute. I mean, it's very basic, but I really like it. I think I kind of accidentally came up with a really cute outfit here, so I might just keep this for a while. But anyways, I think we are almost finished with the build over here. I'm just gonna like obviously make some waterfalls and make the cliff look a bit nicer here, but... I'm just gonna finish that and then we're gonna tour the build together. Obviously, I also added a bit more details off camera and I'm gonna probably come back to the build and add more as we go because that's the kind of builder that I am. Like, I can't really finish a build in one go because I just keep coming back to it, adding some ideas as I go. Does that make any sense? I don't know if I make any sense during this voiceover. Like, my brain is so tired. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna finish the build and then we're gonna tour it together. So stay tuned for that or just skip like 30 seconds in the future <laughs> i'm gonna see you soon guys Alrighty, so here we are. The build is kind of ready or as ready as it can be. So let's go. So this is the idea here. So you will arrive from the airport. You will check in for your holiday over here. You're going to continue to the left side over here. You can see the little sign that leads you to the inn. And then you have our little tropical bread, bre bre bread and breakfast. <laughs> 
Oh my god. You have your little tropical bed and breakfast over here. And yeah, this is what we have so far. I did add some details, obviously some butterfly models and I skipped a few days so the flowers would be in bloom and this is what we have over on the cliff so far but I might add some more details up there a bit later on and obviously I did cut out the whole cliff building behind the house out of the video but yeah it's nothing super special just some flowers and butterfly models there but I think once we finally finish everything all these little areas are gonna look a bit more put together I think still there is so many empty spaces next to this area that it still looks a little bit funny but yeah I hope you guys like today's little build and let me know if you would be interested to maybe see some interior designing videos for the bed and breakfast Alrighties, I think that is what I have for today's video. I hope you liked it. Sorry if it's a bit all over the place, but I'm working so many night shifts this month that my brain is like completely destroyed. My soul is broken. And yeah, I think I need like one month to catch up on some sleep. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!